Welcome to WordPath, the show about Oklahoma Indian languages and the people who are teaching and preserving them. Tonight's show is the second of what it turns out will be, I think, four, based on our second annual celebration of Oklahoma Indian language and culture, sponsored by the Intertribal WordPath Society and held at the Cleveland County Fairgrounds in Norman on October 22nd. About 300 people came to the fairgrounds to enjoy an evening of stories, songs, poetry, and history. Tonight we'll see presentations by Joanne Ellis and Lee Frazier on Chickasaw history, Leroy Seeley and his OU students singing in Choctaw, and Pauline Wapipa's stories in Shawnee. Now I had my hand out, and that Robin, he turned around, 
and started eating my hand out of my hand. That was a strange thing that ever happened to me. And I feel good that day. And I walked down the trail. And all at once, I cried. I don't know why I cried. I, I told the wife when I got back, I said, strangest thing ever happened to me. I said, I went down that trail. I said, I cried. And you know, they want me to kick back and tell all these Indians. That's what it's all about. The cure of them. Come on, my. And I want all the Indians to know that the Indians suffered. When they go on that trail, they want me to come back and suffer the same thing. So I did. And I'm not ashamed of it. I'm proud that I, I said, Shkrusha Zaya, that means jigsaw. And I'm proud of every bit of it. I want all these Indians around here to be proud. Their ancestors walked the trail. Now I'm going to tell you a little joke here now. Uh, I done it before. Uh, uh, elephant that he not mine and some old bitch on my car. Not my whole child. But not that. Cut in there. But I'm not gonna annoy it. But I'm not sure. So why you make that? Really, just so I want my lily. Yanka. So I want my lot. Pasha Dukas Karika. Yanka, number of hundred Dukas. Yanka, what you call it, Dukas. Yanka, so Pasha Vishen of Mutai Dukas Dukas. Yanka, so take a book, take a book, Pasha would start to live. Yanka, who went to Zaha Dama? Not that she should watch her, if she will keep up in my hand. Not that she should fall. You went to Lapa, the gate back for them. Albert Sam, Albert Sam, Albert Sam. He goes, not for that she should fall. Albert, Albert, Albert. Not for that love. Yanka. No, I don't know if I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a Going down that road, well, there was an elephant. And he, uh, only he could hear the chain rattle and all that stuff. He didn't know what it was. And that horse got scared. And that, he pulled on a horse, but he couldn't stop it. And when, when, when he was going down that road, well, the, the horse went toward the people's house. Well, when he got that people's house, a horse just stopped right in front of the porch. And he had time to get off and he just turned to flip on the porch. <laughs> and the people asked him, they said, well, what's wrong here? Well, it's, and he said, he's going to call the cop that was out there on the road. And so he got on the phone and called, called in and told him that uh, there was an alpha on the road. And said, well, what's your name? All day he could think just elephant said, Elephant, 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 Elephant. <laughs> and that horse was going so fast that when, when he said that he was sitting on the back, all at once he knew that he was sitting on, right on his back. And that, no, he, he, what he heard, 
Well, that, that horse of yours is twisted. That horse is going so fast. Oh, horse is going so fast. That old lady of yours is going so fast. Well, all of a sudden, that horse is just going so fast. And said so that nothing can stop that horse. Years ago, that's how uh, our people uh, kind of learned, taught the children to speak the language through, through uh, stories. What I... This evening, I have my uh, Choctaw class. And there are all three levels, Choctaw 1, 2, and 3, who's going to come and perform for you. So uh, if you've uh, ever seen the Mississippi Mass Choir, this is our Choctaw Mass Choir. Okay. All right, class, come on. to begin, uh, we're going to sing two songs for you this evening, and uh, the first song is what we call our traditional Choctaw hymn song, okay, or Choctaw song, and it's going to be very familiar to you, so just listen as we sing.
she lost her mama? Wow. Uh, I, I said, hello, are y'all feeling well tonight? Are you glad to be here? I'm glad you're here. <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Pauline Wapipaw, and my Indian name is Agelema. It doesn't mean Pauline. It means uh, a nice looking horse. Okay, I'm going to read you a story that that uh, Mary Haney and uh, Jan Neosh we put together in a little book. It's a, called an accordion book. And I did the Shawnee, Mary Haney did the, the drawing, and uh, Jan and myself and Mary, we did the coloring. Uh, so, the name of it is Hadebiki Wani Desi. That means, can you go out and play? So it starts out, Hadebiki Wani Desi. He's talking to his grandmother. And then she says, go out and play. So, he's walking, and he's going out to play, but he doesn't want to play by himself. So he meets with a horse. And he talks to the horse and share how they begin oh one in the thing. And the horse says, Mata ni pa beka te thi. So he asks the horse, Can you go out and play with me? And the horse says, No, I have to work. So he's walking along again. Then he meets up with meets up with a cow. So what's what? Hadebiki wani tethi matahni we thini and uh, he met up with a cow. He says, can you come out and play? And the cow says, no, I have to eat. So he was walking along again Then he runs into a pig. Gosh go hadebiki wani tethi Mata ni holelui. So the ran into a pig and said, Can you come out and play with me? And the pig says, No, I have to take a bath. Then walk, he's walking along again. Then uh, he runs into a squirrel. He says, Hadebiki wani devi. Mata ni making up a ganali. He meets up with a squirrel. He says, can you come out and play with me? The squirrel says, no, I have to pick pecans. Then he walks along again, and he meets up with a turtle. He asks, ga kile ha de piki wani te thi? And the turtle says, ah ha, de piki wani te thi? And he asks the turtle, can you go out and play with me? And the turtle says, yes, I can go out and play with you. So they go out and play stickball. I don't know if you can see that. They're out playing stickball. <laughs> so that's the end of that story. <laughs> okay, a, a few years ago, uh, we had to make some books on how to use our language and this is part of the books that I've been making and I want to publish them but I haven't gotten that far. This one here is kind of like our alphabet. It's a big, big book and uh, I'll read the ending then I'll tell you what it means in English. Wapiko Kimichipe we kilwa wapiko. Let's eat the pumpkin. It is it tastes good. And down here it says Manelo Gafui Kishite Melashkajika Ki Malashkajike Have some hot coffee. Would you like some sugar? This is uh, Nemeth 
nepiki ki jime wapami namatha. Says, look at the fish, it is swimming in the water. And the bewe, sui be bonwe, na chitosa. This is 100, the old man is 100 years old. Nepi ki me ki me nepe we can we nepi we shan in nepi the what we're gonna drink water the water is good down here <coughs> excuse me we we all see lo chila wagi beach we all see let's eat the steak we'll eat pretty soon oh sorry. <laughs> Let's cook this day, we'll eat it soon. <laughs> says, Hola, hola, ka, ki hayo pe, we thin ya kwe. We will use a plate when we eat. And, po kama, po kama, we kill wa, ki amo pe. We're, uh, we're going to eat the peach, it is good. So, hola, kwe goshko. We zeni kaki kaki zeni ina koshko fat pig. He eats all the time. Now here's a star. I don't know if you can see it. Alangwa tebe kiki ki neo pe. There's a star. We'll see it tonight. So here's belewa. Matanakamo, the law of the quack, the chicken doesn't sing. He seems to be saying, There is no bread. And here's a baboon, you can see that baboon. Jikatika, ki hayoba, jikatika, yagwe. We will use a broom when we sweep. Excuse me. Lemantabi. Kushkoza, shake hoza meche, ina kushkoza. The little pig has to sit down because he ate too much. Here is Nekoti Danawe Kotaki ni Makize. One shoe. Where is my other shoe? Nishwi. <laughs> I saw two cats. See, Shishkiwabu, Ki Menepe, Kui Zenyakwe. We will have tea to drink when we eat. Debe Kiki, Wapami Hina, Debe Kiki, Hakinewa. Look at the moon. Do you see it? Not Salome. Ki hushdobe skip ha grapes. We will make great dumplings. Wa bien kwa ki hayobe wi zenia kwa. We will use a spoon when we eat. Miyashi taki ki netelobe lo chi la bo ki ni chi be. Let's cook the potatoes. We will eat them later. I just wanted to show you what you can do with language. You can make it, you know, real simple, or you can tell your uh, um, stories, your Indian stories. But uh, we are losing our Indian stories, and I don't remember. They told me when I was too small to remember all, all the Indian stories, so I'm just making up stories for, for the language classes. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some more of this year's celebration. There will be two more WordPath programs with further performances from this year's celebration. And remember, the celebration is held each year on the second Friday before Halloween in Norman at the Cleveland County Fairgrounds. Um, I'd like to thank the Norman Arts and Humanities Council who supported this evening with a grant from the Norman Hotel Motel Tax, and I'd also like to thank the many volunteers who made the evening possible. 
See you next time on WordPad. Yeah. Uh-huh.